Okay, we're just trying to get the correct start list up for everyone. On your marks. And in lane one, we have Sean Landon from Maccabi. Lane two, Amy Robinson from Collingwood. Lane three, Clara Des of Geelong Guild. Lane four, Stella Radford of Melbourne University. Lane five, Esther Keown of, uh, she's the Invitational New Zealander athlete in the All Black. Um, lane six, Bridget Humphrey of Deakin. So small, but fairly elite field it's in this women's B. Yeah, you've got land. Some of them are stepping up to the eight. Uh, primarily land and more the eight runner than 15. Robinson's the interesting one, though. Sort of stepped onto the track this season. is a bit of an unknown and has uh, taken all before. Uh, Runs some great 800s and 1500 yeah, metres. Has so she had a win this season? She has had She's a win. She, well, she won the recently. women's B8 at uh, Milers Club and was quicker than the A race winner. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, Robinson's an interesting one. She's also run cross country for Victoria, so she's got range. But Stella Radford, the steeplechaser, going nicely. We've seen her actually just coming along quite nicely. I haven't seen much of Keon this this season. I think she might not have been in Victoria. And yeah. we see Clara Des, who's relocated to ACT. I think she's now a fellows group, and she's looking quite strong. She's been running sub 430s. Uh, so Robinson sitting at the back there. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, later in the race she becomes a real factor in this one. So Stella's quite happy to lead. Esther's just the outside. Clara going very wide. I'd be tucking in if I were her. Uh, there's no need to be that wide as they're settling into these uh, earlier laps. And a range of, um, as you said, a range of different athletes here. We have Stella Radford, who is a strength runner. She enjoys longer distances. She has yeah. run a number of 1500s over her career. She's ran a very but, um, good one early season as well, low 420s. Uh, so she can, she has got the wheels for a 1500. Uh, Keon, as you said, don't know too much about it. Des has improved a lot this season. And Des coming from more of a, uh, more of a, you know, eight four hundred yes, background definitely. as well. Yep. So. She's um, she's got wheels, um, although yeah, haven't seen a race a heap this season. Um, they're also closely bunched as well. Two laps to go, you know, it's a race of five. I just think from what I've seen from Robinson, that's probably where she wants to be. A nice bit position. Of gap forming there, but I, I, if I was her, I wouldn't be too worried at that. As you can see, Kean and Des going very wide. So two laps down, about 69 second laps. That's heading for around that uh, 4.15 pace without looking at our pacing chart. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they're closer to the 4.30. Oh, hang on. Where are they? Yeah, so not, sh not sure they're as quick as 4.15. I think they're in the 4.20s at the moment. Oh, so that's it's still driving forward. I'm impressed by Des at the moment. Even though she's running wide, she's remaining very composed. But G. Robinson hasn't had to do anything. And when she launches, she is very quick. But Radford, as we said, she's a bit of a strength runner. She's done a lot of work up front. Just, and there's Amy Robinson just up on the heels. And she almost looks like she wants to pass on the yeah. inside. Showing she's a little itching. bit of an experience she's, there. But yeah. as I said, when Robinson goes, she goes. She's got this And she's race. gone. Yeah. You called it early, Tim. Well done. Yeah. Now it's going to be a matter from how they can. I want to see Des try and just hold on and not fade out on this lap. She's got a few just in front of her that she can work off. Radford's still working very hard, but look at the gap. What a yeah. gap. Yeah. Instantly, she's gained yeah. 30 metres over 80 metres. Yeah, this girl might, had she been in the A15, she could have run something special as well. So still lacking the experience for the 15, but given the opportunities we've seen over and over again, she knows how to race. And Clara, it almost looks like she's smiling when she does. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Elliot Kipchoge just relaxed uh, grimace. <laughs> Clara Des just dropping off the back of that um, next pack of three in Stella Radford, Esther Keown and Sharni Landon. Um, Sharni Landon, the leader of that next group. But Amy Robinson, she's ahead by about 50 metres now. She will come home for a fair PB. 4.26 was well, her time and yeah. she's going to smash that. She'll clear about 10 seconds off that time. 4.16, 4.17, 4.18 will give it. It's all done in that last 400. I'd Sha love to get a split on that one, Michael. Sharni landed through next. Then it was Radford, then Kean. And solid times Death for all those. through now. She'll be about 4.33 for Des. And Brigitte Humphrey will be next one through. Just the other side of 4.40. But, yeah, Amy Robinson, as I said, 
put her in any race situation and she'll respond accordingly.